Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make Shanghai Lumpias. I'm going to show you two versions of cooking them. One I've always done and one I've always wanted to try. They have the same ingredients, just different methods of cooking. For the ingredients you will need, a wonton wrap, carrots, black pepper and salt, onion, garlic, vegetable oil, sweet chili sauce, sweet peas, and ground meat. I use a combination of beef and pork, but you can use whatever you want or not use any at all. You can also definitely add any vegetable or beans to it. You will also need some eggs. First, we'll work on the carrots. Everything needs to be chopped as small as possible so that they can all be mixed evenly. I like using a cheese grater to speed up the process. being slightly too big, so it's a good idea to run your knife through it a couple of times to get that perfect texture. Next, finely mince your garlic and your onion. the meat. Since I'm doing two different cooking methods, I will be splitting everything in half. You don't have to do this when you decide which method you'd like to use. version, you will combine all the ingredients together in one large bowl except for the peas. Then mix thoroughly, but not too much, or the mixture will become rubbery. Then add your salt, pepper, and a little bit of sugar to balance everything out. definitely don't need to use your hands. I just prefer it because I feel that it mixes better that way. Next, add 
an egg. This will help bind everything together. When everything is properly mixed, add your peas. I add this at the last second so that they don't get mushed. Gently fold the peas into the mixture until properly incorporated. Cover with plastic wrap and refrigerate. You'll need to let this rest for at least two hours to allow all the flavors to marry. Now for the new method. This is different from the traditional method because here you will actually cook everything first before rolling them in the wrap. Add a little oil in a skillet and throw in your ground meat. Make sure to break it up into small pieces as it cooks so it doesn't clump. This is actually a version I've never tried before, so we'll discover the results together. See that water buildup? It's one of the reasons why I don't like the traditional version. The juice seeps out of the wrap while frying, causing the oil to water down and boil over. The lumpias also turn out a little less crunchy. By cooking the meat first, we can avoid all of that. Dump most of the water out, then transfer the meat into a bowl when cooked. When the garlic is fragrant, add the onions and saute until translucent, then add the carrots. to let it cool. By this time, the wrap should be defrosted. Separate a couple of the wraps from one quarter to the other. If you've never done this before, take your time. one afterwards. They don't tear so easily this way. When you've got a little pile going, cut the wraps in half diagonally. Roll them full size, but the filling tends to be a little bit overwhelming, so I like to cut them in half. By doing this, you will also have more lumpia rolls. When your filling has cooled down, add an egg. It will help bind the mixture together. away from you. I like to use an ice cream scooper for this, that way the filling is always even. Place filling in the lower center of the wrap and mold it into kind of a sausage shape. Then take one end of the wrap and fold it towards the center, covering up the filling, and do the same on the other side, creating an envelope. Fold the 
bottom over the filling, then roll. Apply your egg wash to the top and roll the rest of the way. It's really that simple. if you're inexperienced. So here, my husband Anthony will show you how simple it really is. He has only done this once before for our daughter's first birthday and picked it up pretty quickly. When you're ready to fry, add the lumpia to the flap facing down so it doesn't unravel. Since everything was already cooked in the new version, all you need to do is throw them in until the wrap is golden brown. When you're doing the traditional way, you'll have to leave it in longer to make sure that the filling is properly cooked. Chili sauce.